Shalom. Call Halal Yahweh by Shem El Shai by Hashem Rakak Wadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders. Salutations to all my fellow laborers that do this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so now more so than ever. To the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth to be like unto the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners, and to the Akwath that are listening and learning. To you I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm from the branch of the Great Millstone here in Chicago, coming at you with another lesson in truth. And uh, this is a response to a response. Um, and it's amazing how spirit works because I saw this video and this was a video. I didn't watch the whole thing, but I was watching this video. And the crazy thing is I was watching it when I got the text. This was this video was uh, Elder Apostle Tahar responded to Elder Apostle Aram Labs video about these people who are fudging over uh deuteronomy 28 because that is the that is like literally the number one prophecy how you know that put the put the label on the mark on the israelites because it tells you in deuteronomy 28 and 68 i mean not 68 but 46 let's go to it real quick that these curses shall be a sign you know this is this is a sign so you would actually know like a neon sign in the dark so that you would know who the Israelites are. You'd be able to tell who the Israelites are in the latter days and latter times based upon this prophecy. So by changing this one word by, changing the meaning of the word by, um, is the way they 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 try to hide this fact. Because then that would not, then it's easy to just say whatever they want to say. But then you'd have to look at actually who, who in mankind, what what section of mankind that this this that this mark that was put on, this sign was put on, happened to, and it did not happen to so-called Caucasians. It did not happen to Israelis. It did not happen to Jewish people. Therefore, they don't fit that prophecy. So let's go to it. This is, uh, so the point is in, in 46, as I said, but I'm going to start at, uh, at verse 45. This is Deuteron Deuteronomy 28 and 45, and it reads, Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed, because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of Yahweh thy power to keep his commandments and his statutes which he commanded thee. All right, so since we fail to keep the law, statutes, and commandment, the Lord, all the curses that you read in Deuteronomy 28, from the 15th verse all the way to the end, are going to be signs. So you will look for the for the section of mankind that fits all these prophecies that all these things happen to them and you will find that the holocaust doesn't even come close there was one group of people where all these prophecies fit and that is your so-called negroes latinos and native americans and also remember the curses of deuteronomy 28 match up with all the other scriptures that said you would get scattered to the four corners of the earth how is that done via slavery there is no other way how you don't get scattered on your own they got scattered because they got snatched up and sold into slavery all right so let's go to deuteronomy 28 and 68 and and let's read and it reads and yahweh or oh, i read it verbatim all right and the lord shall bring thee into egypt again with ships when you look into the word, the definition and the meaning of Egypt, it means slavery. All right. And the and the rest of the scripture proves that. And it says, by the way, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. All right. Who, what is the it? The it is the land of Israel. All right. And there you shall be sold unto your enemies. So how are you sold? And then no one buys. <laughs> but it says for bond men and bond women. That's a slave man and a slave woman. And no man shall buy you, all right, which means redeem. And I'm going to prove that through Esau's own sources of information. I'm going to prove that the, that the uh, that this is what is referred to as new speak. When you change the meaning of words, just like iconoclasm, you destroy the actual images and you put up false images to push a false image onto the people of the meaning of something. But here we have the Jewish publications, the JPS. To knock. All right, the JPS to knock. Uh, all right, which is rigged because this is actually the actual Hebrew right here. Uh, 
all right, at the top there. That's the, that's that's the actual Hebrew, but we're gonna we're gonna use the 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 new form of it, the Assyrian script, all right. Um, that's what we use today, the Assyrian, the Assyrian script. Why? Well, that's what's that's what's what has been propagated. But if you look at it, it gives you the breakdown in both the uh the Hebrew, all right, and it gives it to you and mind you all those dots and points. That's that's an add on. That's 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 the way they change the meaning and the sounds of words. But here, let's see if we can focus and read that through the lens. And it says, uh, the Lord will send you back to Egypt in galleys, in the galleys of ships. All right. By the route which I told you, you should not see again. Well, they took the it out. All right. There you shall offer yourselves for sale to your enemies as male and female slaves, but none will buy, all right? So they just completely changed the verbiage to change the meaning, all right? So let's look at another source, what they fabricated. This is from the uh, Catholic Bible, all right? Catholic edition, uh, Holy Bible, Catholic. And here's the same scripture. All right. Let's see if we can get it to focus. There we go. Um, wow, I didn't realize this started on the other page. So lock you. All right. The Lord will bring you back in ships to Egypt into slavery by the route I, that I promise you would never see again. So remember, the, the Catholic, the Catholic, the Pope wears the same thing on his head that the Jewish do. All right. Right, they cover the crown of their head. Remember that. Okay, that's why it's called Judeo Christian. All right, a Judeo Christian movement. All right, there you shall offer yourselves for sale to your enemies as males and female slaves, but there will be no buyer. So, as much as, as the Edomites and different men throughout history of the world has been merchants with traffic. What time and place? Give me the uh, the relics, the time, the place, and the ships. Who who uh, uh, guided the ships? Who drove the ships? This whole thing is ridiculous. So that's, that's like a man that puts his family and his people on a ship and takes them to another part of the world and attempts to sell his people. All right. Oh, he don't sell them. They actually get off the boat and offer themselves as servants and slaves, but no one buys them. All right? Because the scriptures speak about fetters of iron, yokes of iron around their neck. So you got off the ship, put yokes of iron around your own neck and around your own people, all right? And then you drove and you you drove the you guided these ships, piloted these ships, all right, to different parts of the world to offer yourself for slavery. In the ancient world when everyone was into slavery, <laughs> But no one took you. That is the most ridiculous lie that I have ever heard. This is the foolishness and the stupidity and the lie IQ failing of Esau Edom, the so-called white man. Now, here is a book, which is the uh, World Dictionary Book 1978. The first edition of it was in, in 1963, which, I oh, man, I wish I had that one. And let's see how many editions that they had. 64, 65, 66, 67, all the way up to 78. So the, every year they changed it. Why? Because the old dictionaries revealed too much information. It, and, and so the old dictionaries weren't in. Uh, that's why they changed the definition of wool. All right. How wool was associated with so-called Negroes, you know. And, uh, and then the Bible speaks about. The Lord and the Father and the angels and Solomon having bushy or woolly hair. All right. But here, let's go to the word by uh, in this 1978. Let's see if we can get it to focus. All right. It says what? To redeem. Obsolete except in theological use. So that means that in the Bible, the word by means to redeem. 
So let us read that again. And, add, and then let's read one of these false. Uh, actually, we'll just read it. I don't even want to read that wickedness, that craziness anymore. Let's go back to uh, Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter and the 68th verse. And it reads, and Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again, into a slave, into and, and your your position is going to be slavery, bondage. All right. You're going to bring you into the house of bondage, into slavery again. That's what Egypt means. House of bondage. All right. With ships. So what group of people went on cargo slave ships? Well, the first ones were the so-called Tainos and natives of the islands. All right. The second group to get shipped around the world, back and forth to Europe and Africa, was the uh, the people that got off the west coast of Africa. All these people were Israelites. The Native Americans were continually being put on ships and shipped over to Seville, Spain. There are records of it. All right? But let's read it again. Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And Yahweh shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships, into slavery again with ships. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. You notice they took that out too. All right? Because the Bible clearly says that the Israelites will never go back to the land of Israel until the Lord puts them there. All right? Those Israelites that went over there on their own, well, that's why they're catching so much hell and they haven't been blessed since they've been over there. They're actually in a land that's going to be wiped out and destroyed and, and rebuilt. And more than likely, there may be a few elect among them. I kind of doubt it, but, you know, that's just me speaking as a man. But they're over there against the, the, the against the Lord's will. All right. They're doing their own thing. And that's enough to get you destroyed. All right. But it says, thou shalt see it no more again. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. All right. And that's the key word. It said you would be sold. All right. For bond men and bond women and no man shall buy you. Not the English meaning of buy, all right, but the biblical sense, the theological sense, the old English, and we just gave you the definition to redeem. No one would redeem you. No one would save you from slavery. Go back up to verse 46. And, and well, I'll start at 45. Moreover, all these curses shall be, shall come upon thee, and pursue thee and overtake thee till thou be destroyed. See, Jeremiah 17 and 4. Let's get it. And we'll come back to it. Jeremiah 17 and 4 clearly says that we will be cut off from our heritage. And this is the main uh, uh, avenue, this, the, the main thing that did it, that cut us off from, from our heritage was slavery. All right. And thou, Jeremiah 17 and 4, and thou, even thyself, shall discontinue. From thine heritage that I gave thee. The heritage of the Israelites is the heritage of who the world ignorantly calls God, Jehovah, or Yahweh. His name is Yahweh. All right. And I will cause thee to serve thy enemies in the land which thou knowest not. And that's through slavery. All right. Where are the records and the evidence of that happening to Israelis? All right. Because see, this precept, uh, if, it would, if it meant what they said it meant, they wouldn't match up because now you got a now you got a conflict because Jeremiah is speaking about being sold to the enemies. All right. Serving the enemies. All right. It says, and I will cause thee to serve thine enemies in the land which thou knowest not, for ye have kindled a fire in, in mine anger, which shall burn forever, which means a long time when you look into it. But let's go back to uh Deuteronomy, 28th chapter. And um, let's start here, De Deuteronomy 28, 68. Thou shalt see it no more again, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bondmen and bondwomen, and no man shall buy you. All right, back up to 40, 40, uh, uh, 46, 40, 45 is actually what we should have went straight to. All right, and it says, um, Moreover, all these curses shall come upon thee and shall pursue thee and overtake thee, 
till thou be destroyed. You were destroyed through slavery, through your heritage being taken away from you. All right. Because thou hearkenest not unto the voice of Yahweh thy power to keep his commandments and his statutes, which he commanded thee, and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. Well, the scripture says that you also would have, you will be put into yokes of iron. All right. That's right here in Deuteronomy 28. All right. And, and so when you Google yokes of iron, you, it's never going to pop up Jewish people. All right. You Google yokes of iron. Matter of fact, let's try it. Let's go to a. Uh, up a new tab and let's put in yokes of iron upon thy neck wow it finished it for me let's see what oh well first thing you see all right first images that pop up jeremiah deuteronomy 28 <laughs> and 48 and he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck who is the he Esau Edom did it say that that you were not sold unto the Grecians all right man <laughs> so let's finish 40 uh 46 yep and they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever all right so this was the, so once again, when you start doing through process of elimination, you go throughout the history of mankind. It's just as I said, the slave trade started with so-called natives of the Americas and then it ended with the so-called Negro. It's, uh, let's get Jeremiah 50 and 33. So you, 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 you plantation, you colonial plantation, Christianity, bullshit, all right? That colonialized plantation Christianity is dead, man. There, there are no answers, all right? None. So let's go to... Uh, where was I going? I can't remember. A message came across the phone, and I looked at it, and it kind of messed me up. And that, that thought left me, so lock you. But anyway, let's go back to uh, uh, General Deuteronomy 2868. I went to uh, Jeremiah. Well, hold on. Let's get one more. This one popped in my head. So let's ride with it. Maybe that one will come back to me. But the point has been made anyway. But this is uh, Lamentations 5 and 2. All right. Um, that's four. I have to go to five. Lamentation five and two. All right. About us losing our heritage. All right. And it reads, our heritage is turned to strangers, our houses to aliens. All right. So a different people are, are, are wearing our heritage as if it was them. And now I remember where I was going. I was going to Jeremiah and we're going to close there. The water you held by Shai. Um, Jeremiah 50 and 33. All right. And it reads, thus saith Yahweh of hosts, the children of Israel and the children of Judah. All right. That's what you're looking at. The northern kingdom, the children of Israel and the children of Judah, the southern kingdom. So-called uh, 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 Haitians, West Indies and the Negroes, southern kingdom. And then from the so-called Native American Indian Gad to the, Puerto, the so-called Puerto Rican, to the Mexican, to the Central American and South American Though that would be your northern kingdom. All right. It says, and it reads, were oppressed together, and all that took them captives held them fast. They refused to let them go. But yet you got these these so-called biblical scholars with a lie IQ saying that no one bought them. Call Haloy Hawabashana Shai Bashimba Kakwadash, Wa Ababa Ba and Shalawam.